I show you how to solve legal question 54201 matrix and this is a median legal question giving our m multiplex and binary matrix mat written distance of the nearest the zero for each cell the distance between two adjacent cell is one so it want you to return the distance of nearest the zero for each cell so for each cell that is zero uh, we can see in this example with a zero's distance is of course zero right so you can see in the output all the zero cells are still zero and the one cell the nearest the zero for this one cell is one right so then the output is zero one zero in this case and if you look at the second example on um, zero 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 one zero and that the last row is one 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 and we can see all the zero cell remain to be zero and the one cell there's zero right next to it so the distance is one and then you can see the last row there's a zero right next to it so it's one right and then for this number one here and the, the nearest the zero is one two or one two either way it should be two in this case and this is some constraints here and you can see that this uh this question was asked by google amazon facebook adobe in the past six months for a question like this um of course that we can brute force it and basically calculate starting from each cell and calculate the um use the algorithm that i think of is the buffer search if we use buffer search to calculate each cell um from zero um to uh one and uh, calculate the distance and up and then update each cell right but if you think about it uh to reverse thinking a little bit it want you to return the distance of the nearest zero for each cell so a more efficient way to look at it is that what we can do is um we can actually add all the zero first and then we start going through the f go from the zero to the one and then when we do uh, buffer search from the zero to one we can see the nearest one at the first layer one 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 right and that's one and then when we do the buffer search for the second time this will be um distance of two if that makes sense and basically you want to what you wanted to do is basically add all the zero to your um q first and then when once you add all the zero you only have one left right and then you want to pop from the q pop each zero oh also by the way i want to mention one thing is that it returned the distance of um all zero cell you might have some questions like is it allowed to move eight directions or four directions you can tell from this example that uh, because the number is two here it allows you to move uh, four directions instead of all eight directions in this case um and then so once you add all the zeros to the queue and uh, we also wanted to add a, a visit set to make sure that we don't revisit the cell that we have already visited already and then we want to pop zeros from the queue right and then when we pop the zeros from the queue if the zero uh, if zeros neighbor are zero in this case we just pop it and then we're not gonna do anything but for the zero that we added to the queue or added to the visit set there's neighbor there's one there uh what we wanted to do is we want to calculate the neighbor and then if we have not visited the neighbor we want to update this number 
the this cell with the the original cell plus one. So in this case, it's one. And then we want to, after we calculate the number, we want to add them to the visit set and append to the queue. And in the end, uh, while well, we popped everything from the queue, and then we can return the matrix. So I'm going to show you how to do this in the code. And as, as always, I'm going to define this uh, matrix first and then uh, its length of cell and the colon is equals to the length of, uh, of mat and zero here right so in this case like I mentioned we want to use a visit we want to use a, a visit set to make sure that we don't visit the same cell twice and for the queue I like to use the DQ and next step we're gonna append all the zeros to the queue how we append all the zeros to the queue is that we have to go through every single cell for R in range of rows and for C in range of calls for this graph and everything we go through if the mat R C equals to zero right if it's zero cell then we want to add it to the visit set to make sure that we don't visit again but also append it to the queue so that this queue currently have all the zero values in this queue so once we have all the zeros in the queue we want to go through the while loop while queue right and then we want to pop from the q.pop left and we want to pop the q pop all the zeros from q so when we pop zeros like this one it um it's out of the boundary so we only look at the, the neighbor basically this this zero and also this zero right and because they're zero so we actually don't need to do anything for this cell other than just pop it and then next step what we will do is we want to calculate the neighbor for the rdc in so i won't write the directions in this case but i'm just gonna uh one zero and then um minus one uh zero and then basically just put all four directions zero one and then um zero minus one basically in all four directions and i want to calculate the neighbor so i put a new cell as row and columns and it's basically the original cell multiplex uh uh not multiplex but plus dr and then the code is c plus um dc so i got the neighbor number so then the next what i'm gonna do is i want to check if the um, neighbor is inbound like for example like this cell if like outbound for this direction above this this is out of bound so i'm not not gonna look at that one and smaller than rows and um uh, zero smaller equal call smaller than calls right inbound and also i want to make sure that uh row call not in visit i have not visited already and i don't need to check if uh this uh mat equals to one in this case because i have already added all zeros to the queue so i don't need to um, check this condition here that won't be anything left because anything left at this point uh, meet this requirement in this mat has to be one in this case that's why i don't need to check one here so i'm gonna say that for the mat row call so basically it's neighbor The value of this grid equals to mat rc basically 
for example, when I'm calculate this number, right? First round when I'm coming here is the number wherever I do pop this zero, this should be the zero plus one. So I want to update this value here. And then after I visit this, I want to add this one to the neighbor to the visit set also. And now I also wanted to append this value to the colon um, and row to the queue again. So make sure that I don't revisit the neighbor as well. And then since there's still more zero, right? I'm just going to continue to pop. This one doesn't matter. This one doesn't matter. And this one has a neighbor of one that I'm going to add. And then for this one, I'll have to go through the while loop again. And in the end, after I'm popping everything that I can return, every cell is visited and I can return the mat. And let's see. Okay, it's uh, accepted. All right, if you think this is helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel and I'll have more questions for you soon. Okay, I'll see you. Bye-bye.